The house explosion in the Bronx that killed one woman and injured two others. Authorities now say the preliminary investigation shows it was caused by gas. CBS News' John Diaz now with more. You can see an explosion that literally rocked this Bronx community. But the aftershock will never fade for the family of 77 year old Martha Degbatsa, who died in the blast, and her sister is in critical condition. It's like, you know. Watching a movie. It's surreal. Her daughter in law telling me over the phone. I don't know what to say. There's, there are no words. Late yesterday morning, the senior's home burst into pieces, leaving behind debris and a gaping hole in this row of houses. Everything blew out. I just panicked. Robert Williams lives around the corner. He was walking nearby. I thank God that I wasn't right here. You know, I was the block over. The windows shook. The whole building shook. I mean, everything shook. Minutes after the explosion, All right, back out, back out, back out. police were on the ground, racing toward the danger. Safely rescuing an 83 year old who was trapped underneath furniture and rubble, five officers were injured. Over here, over here. Her nephew says the explosion did come with a small warning. Her neighbor frantically showed up. Uh, he had put, knocked on her door because he smelled gas. And then well, what they sat down, they were talking, and when they were talking, I guess that's when the explosion happened. Today, as the cleanup started, survivors were seen collecting what they could salvage. Police handing over belongings of children. Officials say three additional buildings will need to be demolished, but we are told gas was restored to all homes except one. So we told Con Ed, we want you guys to get this done as soon as possible, but don't rush this. Um, you know, and, and so there definitely is a concern that this may happen again. Which is why Councilman Rafael Samanaka Jr. is reminding this community and others. If you smell gas, no no matter how minimal it is, call 911, call 311, get that reported. And the councilman says that someone was calling 911 to report gas when the explosion happened. As for those survivors and those five officers, we are told that they all are expected to recover. From the Longwood section of the Bronx, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. The American Red Cross says it's helping 10 families displaced by the explosion find housing.